Uh, good morning folks, how are we all doing? Another lovely morning. There is threats of rain today, but we'll see what happens. As you would have guessed from the title, we're off to do a bit of off, well, I say off-roading, more gravel tracks around the Salisbury Plains, somewhere I've never been before. I was hoping that my partner in grime, Jonathan, would be coming with me, but unfortunately he's not available, so I'm flying solo. Hey-ho, we're not going anywhere particularly difficult, so we should be fine. Well, as you will have seen if you've uh, been watching my channel, I recently put up a short video about having new boots on the KTM. New tyres, Anlas Capra X. A more aggressive tyre than the Pirelli STRs that was, uh, originally came with the bike. Which is exactly what I want. I want a more aggressive tyre, but not too aggressive for road work. Uh, my concern was they might be a bit too lumpy on the road, but so far, and it, I mean it's only been a, a couple of miles, but so far all good. So we'll keep an eye on them, see how they go, see how they feel, I will report back as it were. See what mileage we get out of them. I got... Wakey wakey! Sorry about that. I probably could have got about seven, seven and a half thousand miles up my rear tyre on the STR. Um, and maybe a bit more on the front tyre. So we'll see how these ones go. Like I say, I'll report back to you once I know what they're like. I'm hoping. We're right here then, folks. I'm off to get some fuel because I am literally running on fumes. Then I'm going to head off towards Salisbury. And I shall get back to you once I get there. And we go have a play in the dirt. Toodles! Use a wind noise. Here we are folks, we made it. And where are we? Salisbury Plains. Salisbury Plains, sorry. This is the uh, military training ground. And we come here to ride these gravel tracks. It took a while to get here. I set the set now to a twisty route, which was a bad idea. So it took me through some wonderful villages like Kent's Bottom, and believe it or not, Tiddlywinks. I actually rode through Tiddlywinks. Yeah, um, did get stuck behind some traffic, doing 30 and 50. Um, yeah, no comment. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sort myself out, put my goggles on, change of gloves, check the bike over, and then we're going to go have a little ride around the lanes. See where we end up, see how we get on. These are the tyres I've got now. The Anlas Capra X. Oh, it's a bit grubby already. Which road-wise seem to perform fine. A little bit lumpy at motorway speed, so you can feel the tread, but hey ho, I am running them at 30 psi mind. Standard pressure for the KTM road uh, pressures is 35, recommended for off-road is 26. So I'm going for 30 and see how they handle. Oh, by the way, I don't think it's here. That's my new metal radiator grill co cover instead of the plastic rubbish that comes with the bike. Okay, let's get myself sorted, connect up the other camera, and go have some fun. Catch you in a bit. Doodles! Well, we're on Salisbury Plains. Like I say, I'm only doing the gravel tracks. I'm on my own. I have no idea where I'm going. So I'm being very cautious, shall we say. Now if you do come up this way, stick to the tracks, don't go where the red flags are flying. 
All right, be respectful of others, obviously. Morning. Even if they don't like it, you are legally allowed to be up here. And there's a 30 mile per hour speed limit. I know a few of you thinking, oh, I can really gun it down there. Yeah, don't. I've done a bit of research into this place and apparently military and civilian police do frequent these lanes. And they don't take kindly to you messing about. The other thing, as you may notice, is some of these potholes are quite big. You hit them at pace and you could end up hurting yourself. <laughs> Now you'll see these tracks by the side. They are part of the byway, I believe. And yes, you can go through them. I have been warned those puddles can be extremely deep. Like eight, nine foot deep. <laughs> so uh, extreme caution. It's beautiful up here. Also remember that most of this is chalk. Chalk when it's wet is extremely slippery. Which I must, must say I've noticed, uh, I can feel the bike moving around underneath me. Not too bad. But uh, always good to be careful. So we'll stop here, let this gentleman through. We don't want to be upset anybody. Woo! Big pothole. Didn't even see that one. I very much doubt if either of these know I'm here. Lay little headphones on. Mate, you might want to take your headphones off and control your bloody dog. And we're the bad guys? Okay. Sorry about that. I know this ain't the most exciting footage, but tough. <laughs> oh look, toilets. Just to think what state they're in mind. I don't know if we'll actually spot any military vehicles today. Uh, rather lovely up here. <laughs> well worth a two, what, a two, two hours forty-five to get you. But I did stop for breakfast. That corrects, of course. Looks like someone's about to play in the water. I wonder, can I get him on camera? Yes, I can.
nice one. Very nice. Hang on. Yeah, we did. Sweet as. <laughs> Absolutely miles and miles and miles to go play and look at that. Be great fun as long as you're a group of you. If you're not on your own. From when we're so sticking these. What well, are probably the most little boring tracks but I'm enjoying it. Uh, okay, we're okay. I hope this ain't too boring for everyone. I'm enjoying myself. It's lovely to get out on these nice quiet roads where you just poot along at your own sweet pace. I know it's a 30 mile an hour limit which to some might not seem much or not a good idea. But it don't bother me. I'm out here to enjoy the tracks. This is exactly what I bought the KTM for. Let's check as I come along, see what's available. Uh, it doesn't say it's a byway so I'm not going up there. Yeah, this is what I bought the bike for. To do stuff like this. Like Clairewind Reservoir. If it wasn't so wet and slippery and if I had someone with me I might entertain doing so many side lanes but not on my own. Too risky. Well then folks, I'm slightly disappointed. I was hoping to find a dead tank or something to take a photo by. The one I had logged in my sat nav on 40 is up uh, a, a road to a village. Imba village I think it's called. But it's only accessible certain times of year. And of course it has to be the time when I'm not here. <laughs> or when I am here, it's not the time to go up there. You know what I mean. That was a bit of a disappointment. But the day's been good. I quite enjoyed myself. Hope it's not been too boring for a lot of you. Like I say, I enjoyed it. This place is amazing, you can spend weeks up here. Oh, big potholes. Slow it down. Uh, big puddle. Let's go this way. Right folks, I hope you enjoyed my little ride around. Not too exciting, I know, but it's what I plan to do on the bike. Find this little spot where I can stop for five minutes. Right, what I would say to you, um, piece of advice, if you're heading over in this general direction, add an hour onto your journey because nobody around you is any rush to go anywhere. 
most of the time you're doing 30, 40 mile an hour in the 40s and 50s. No more. Other than that, it's, you know, it's a lovely area. I've had great fun riding around the, the gravel tracks here. There are hundreds and hundreds of miles of lanes like this one, which you can do if you're more experienced. Obviously be careful. Riding solo like I am is not a good idea, not recommended. Unless you really know what you're doing, and I certainly don't. I will be coming back though, to enjoy myself another day. Bring Jonathan along, and we'll see what happens then. Anyway, as always folks, please do like, share, subscribe, all the usual rubbish for the YouTube channel. It helps with all the algorithms, they share my videos, I, I get more traffic on the channel and the channel builds, which is really appreciated. This I think is definitely going to be a thumbnail for the video, so I'll take some photos in a minute. Whatever folks, like I say, thank you for watching, hope it wasn't too boring for you, there will be more. And in the meantime, whatever you're doing folks, please be safe, ride safe and have fun. And of course, you didn't think I'd forget, did you? Toodles! Right, couple of photos, then try and get out here.